All right, brother, so. Um, you're going to be a lefty. That's what Errol Spence is. So, uh, uh, so lefty is the other way. Uh, so what Errol Spence does a lot, he does the, the um, he likes to do the one, two, or he does one, two. But he's, he has that beautiful probing jab as a southpaw. That's what he's going to be doing a lot. And what Terrence Crawford needs to do, everybody knows the flaws of both, but they haven't uh, uh, talked about this. So as an orthodox, uh, um, so throw the, the, the one. So all I need to do is keep it out. Throw it, boom, and slip. That's it. So go this way and then throw it at me. So sorry, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll be orthodox, so throw that. See, that's all he has to do right there because now he has all this open. And remember, you guys know, turn this way now. You guys know that both Terrence and uh, uh, Spence have this side wide open. So even when Crawford turns, uh, he has that same side. When he's this way, he drops his hand a lot. And that's what a lot of people have shown that Terrence, uh, Terrence uh, sorry, uh, Spence is going to be able to hit Crawford because he always leaves himself wide open right there. And he's going to be able to do that. But remember, uh, 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 Ugas did it, right? He, slipped that uh also um uh, danny garcia slipped that and did a big ass overhand right okay so we all know that that's the only way you're going to be able to get uh uh errol spence so now let's let's do it what he's going to have to do uh terrence copper is actually going to have to do as a orthodox because he can switch over to southpaw right which he's going to do a lot and he's going to have to do that but in order for him not to gas out like uh, 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 Brooke did, Brooke was always dancing around, remember that, and he would fucking get him good, and he would move, but he kept doing this too much. After a while, his legs were loaded up too much, and what did uh, uh, Errol Spence did? Hunted him down and knocked his ass out. Why? Because he was too exhausted, even though Errol, uh, uh, Brooke was the biggest boxer. So, with this in mind, what uh, Terrence Carper is gonna do back up a little more. All right, so as a, as a orthodox, throw that jab, boom, slip right here. So what, right here he's gonna have to do an up. What's that reaction, see that? It's gonna be an up, up, down combination. He's gonna be open right there, but it's gonna have to be, come back again one more time. It's gonna have to be, uh, do it again slowly. Bam. It's gonna have to be light, kind of hard, and then hard with a double. So one more time, throw the jab, boom, 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 boom. As you're, as, so the first one's gonna throw you back, so kind of go back on that first one. Boom, 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 bam, bam. That double one. So these first two should be light. It's gonna be just stun, stun, up, down. See how quick anyone, even, even Errol Spence will be able to do that. So up, down, not only that, is the only thing that I, I don't think none of the teams are looking at is the squared ring, right? If uh, if Terrence Copper could cut off um, uh, uh, Errol Spence, because remember, both of them, they don't initiate. But Errol Spence doesn't have to initiate because he's always, always just drilling. Always just drilling. Boom, boom, he takes shots, but he never stops. Damn, damn, he's not fast, but he's just bam, 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 bam. Constantly, constantly drilling, right? So that's why Errol Spence was gonna have to, I mean, uh, Terrence Carper's gonna have to move a lot, move a lot. Well, in order for him not to get tired, he's gonna have to disrupt the bigger guy's center of gravity. As simple as, throw that jab again, bam. See that, all that was my leg. Again, come this way. Cause remember, say that, you never wanna be in the inside. Go a little bit out, a little bit, uh, no, so you can penetrate with the punch. Yeah, you never wanna be on the inside to a southpaw. All right, it lays out the leg because right there he takes advantage of everything. You guys all know that. So what's going to happen with Terrence Crawford is going to have to be outside of the leg, right? So with this in mind, is that uh, 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 um, uh, Terrence Crawford, all he needs to do from right here, uh, uh, when he switches, because remember, he switches a lot, is to trap him on the corner by when he's going to go this way, I, yeah, I bait him, he comes this way, and then from there I step in. Again, disrupt the center of gravity. We're gonna have a beautiful come back this way. We're gonna have a beautiful counter punching clinic for like for like two or three seconds. That's gonna seem like nine, and then he's gonna come back out, chase him. You'll see. He's not gonna run a lot. He's gonna come in again, 
inside. Bam, bam, bam. Get back out. And he's gonna keep trying to go in and out without. Come back again. See what you were doing right now? See what he was doing right now? He was wrestling me. That's what Terry and Strawberry doesn't want because he's gonna get tired from the legs. And this guy will not get tired. But here's the last thing. Speed cannot kill Errol Spence, quite literally. If you guys don't know, I mean, you guys know already, he was in the car accident, but that's the problem. Mark my words, after this trilogy, after the third fight with Terry Cropper, Errol Spence will retire. Not because he can't fight, because of his brain. He's gonna realize something's wrong. So with that in mind, last thing, if, Terry, if Errol Spence has that new bright green mouthpiece, I'm telling you, I guarantee you, I'm, look at where I have my mouthpiece. I'm, I always have this on. I guarantee you that Errol Spence did not train with that bright green mouthpiece. If he has that bright green mouthpiece, I guarantee you, Errol Spence will lose. He, there's no way he's winning, and it won't be a close fight, you'll see. But if, if uh, uh, Errol Spence does not have that bright green mouthpiece, here's what he's gonna do. Errol Spence is gonna catch uh, 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 Terrence Crawford on that switch that he likes to do. And he, exactly, look, he already did it naturally. He, not only did he bring this out to kind of bring his guard, but that's where uh, 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 Errol Spence is gonna go up, down, uh, up, and then from that, so you're gonna go bam, and then uppercut, bam. And you guys know that Errol Spence's number one hit, in my opinion, is where, as a southpaw, he likes to bam, and he always hits a lot. Boom, boom, and he comes this way, bam! But he, what he does is, crazy uppercuts okay there's gonna be a flash down on Terrence Crawford uppercut by uh, Errol Spence once again when I step in remember uh, uh do your uh, over bam and then uppercut no no this time you're gonna defend me so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do the stupid move and this is what Errol Spence is gonna do when I try to bam bam remember you're gonna go down down and when you're already down you're gonna come up so uh, uh, I'm gonna try to be slick on him, try to get his open spot over here and do my jack up, bam, bam. That's exactly how Terrence Crawford is gonna hit the ground at least once. But he's not gonna, he's, there's nothing that's gonna take away from this. Now, if, if Errol Spence was not in that car accident, Errol Spence would win far none, far none. But I guarantee you, especially if Errol Spence has his mouth green, Breathe mouthpiece in, he's gonna lose, okay? And no matter what, Terrence Crawford is gonna be ha uh, raising his hand. I don't think it'll be a knockout, it's gonna go all 12, and even though it goes all 12, it won't be a close fight, you'll see. It's gonna be a phenomenal fight. I think that Terrence Crawford will have the brains. Will have the brains to go beyond brain and brawn, and Terrence Crawford will not be in their boxing, even though you're gonna see the best boxing you'll ever see, especially coming from Terrence. He won't be even in their boxing because He'll just be out here having fun. You'll see. He's going to be having fun on Errol Spence. Mark my words. And that's a fucking hard thing to say against Errol Spence. So, thank my brother here. My literal little brother. But look how much bigger he is. <laughs> what a loco. He's about to have a show tonight in Palmdale. So, I'll get let you guys know about some other shows he's going to have sometime soon in the near future. So, thank you guys for joining us. Here's the big tall one. My little brother. <laughs> have a good one, guys. Peace will be with you.